So what we're going to do, very quickly, close this. That should work. And we'll set this shape to zero. There we go. And we're going to hit key. We'll go back up here. go here, shapes, set that to 1, and we'll key it, and now we'll test it. did it again. Let's do this one more time. Alright, so L I will hit close, flatten, shapes, flatten, a zero. That we go back and then we go here. Go back here. Let's key that. I just call myself an idiot, and it's okay, because I'm an idiot. Alright, I need to break this, because for some reason, I was using the wrong one, and I was not paying attention, and we're going to do this very quickly, so that we can get to other stuff, so that you don't have to run, watch me fumble around like a, a fool of a tooth. No, nobody, Lord of the Rings reference, okay. You're fired. Get out. Has been your defense team for his. Where's my head? That's the first thing he called him when they set off the dragon. Full double talk. Have you anybody actually read the books? That's sad. They're it's not like, big books. It's been like middle school since I read those books. Good. At least you read them. I read The Hobbit when I was in uh, elementary school. That was the f that's, that was the first one I read. All right, okay, fifth grade. So what we're gonna do is here emotes, eyelid close. We have this, and this is my upper eyelid, and this should be my upper eyelid close. All right, we have that. That's zero. We'll key that. We'll go here. Upper eyelid closed. We'll go here, we'll set that to one. There we go. We'll key it. And then we should be good to go with that. Now, let's load in this one. Alish for shapes. Load driven. Alish for shapes. Flatten. And this will be my lower eyelid. I'm sorry closed and I need to make sure that's the right one RTL I live closed that's right here set this to one. We'll go 
go here. That's at one. And apparently I need to set this to zero, which I didn't do. Zero. Key it. And there we go. Alright, we have that. Now, once we have these, we could probably just throw these. Well, one, let's put this in our blend shape layer. And I need to put the rest of these in my blend shapes layer. This new geometry is going to be in, should be in, probably is in Geo right now. So I'm just going to move that to my blend shapes. Now, this geometry has to scale and move with it. So the first thing I want to do with this is I'm going to group it to itself. Modify center pivot. And I have to get this to move with my head. So what I'm going to do, show my joints again. And we can I'm probably just going to use my top of head joint. Hopefully my weights are correct because all of this really should not be influenced by any weights. But in hindsight, if I wanted to do eyelashes, I probably should have did a joint base blink setup. We'll select this, select this, constrain, and we'll do a parent constraint. So that this moves. And then on top of that, when we're ready, they should work with it and stay in their position. that makes sense. However, we do have another problem. And that problem is the fact that our eyelashes aren't going to scale. So we've already set up the scale for this and when I scale it, while they're going to move with it, you notice they don't scale with it. So how are we going to take care of that? Well, very simply. What we can do, while we have a scale group, I could probably take this, let's create another group in here, and we'll just name this Geo Scale. Put that in my scale, and then we can just take our eyelashes and put that in that new group there. And then when we do this, it should scale with it. Make sense? Oh, I got another problem down there for C. What's not scaling with my eyes? Yeah. Yeah, eyeballs. eyeballs. Yes, yeah, so let's fix that. Completely overlooked that. So my eyeballs, where are they at? My eye group, I'm just going to put this in here. So we're going to take this and we're just going to put it in our geo scale. And I could probably go ahead, while I don't have my blend shapes and my set driven key set up for these eyelashes, I can go ahead and at least put those in there as well and go ahead and set that up as well too.
that up and then that should scale with everything and then let's do a new test all right and there we go now I still got to paint weights and I still got to do other things and one of the last things we need to do is we got to create shape libs for our clothing and then we'll probably take care of that